All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. All right. So I have a few housekeeping things I need to do first. Um, so I need to go into my skills and I need to figure out these perks. Um, okay. This is, there's a lot to look at here. Uh, okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like what would be useful right now. Okay. Let's go into destruction. Oh wait, first I should actually read. Okay, so the school of destruction involves the harnessing of the energies fire, frost, and shock. This skill makes it easier to cast spells like fireball, ice spike, and lightning bolt. Okay, so cast novice destruction spells for half of the magicka. Okay, how do I, do I press A? Ah, am I sure I want this perk? Yes. Okay. Where's the fire one? I don't have enough points. Oh, I see. Okay, so this like requires 30, but I'm only at 21. Uh, okay. Dual casting a destruction spell overcharges the effects into an even more powerful version. Okay. And then conjuration. Let's see. Cast novice level conjuration spells for half magicka. Okay. Because, like, my ghost thing takes up all of my magic. So this guy is novice. Okay, so I think I want to increase that perk too. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay. Bound weapons do more damage. Okay. I'm only at 17. What else can I? Summoner. Can summon Atronax and raise undead twice as far away. What is this one? Necromancy. Greater duration for reanimated undead. Okay. Um, the school of illusion involves manipulating the mind of the enemy. This skill makes it easier to cast spells like fear, calm, and invisibility. I don't have those. Alchemy. An alchemist can create magical potions and deadly poisons. Let's see. Potions and poisons you make are 20% stronger. Yes. Uh, potions you make that restore health, magic, and stamina are 25% more powerful. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, I'll come back to that one. Speech. The skill of persuasion can be used to get better prices from merchants and persuade others to do as you ask. Buying and selling prices are 10% better. Yes. Let's see. 10% better prices with the opposite sex. Okay. Bribery. Can bribe guards to ignore crimes. Hmm. Pickpocket. Oh, lock picking might be useful. Novice locks are much easier to pick. Okay, I need a perk that deals with like weapons. Okay, I use that like two-handed axe a lot. So we'll do that. Power attacks with two happen weapons. Um, Cost 25% less stamina. Okay. Attacks with battle axes cause extra bleeding damage. That's cool. 
Uh, attacks with the war hammers ignore 25% of armor. Okay. Might come back to that one handed. Oh, sorry. The art of combat using one handed weapons such as daggers, swords, maces, and war axes. Those trained in this skill deliver deadlier blows. Okay, yeah, we want that. Mm. Okay, I might do that one. Because I think ideally I like to have like magic in one hand and then like a weapon in the other. Um, smithing. Can create steel armor and weapons at forges and improve them twice as much. Uh, elven smithing. Advanced armors. You okay there? You good? Be right back. Okay, glass smithing can create armor and sorry, can create glass armor and weapons at forges and improve them. Uh, oops. Uh, dragon armor can create dragon armor and dragon bone weapons at forges. Oh my God, requires a hundred. Uh, Daedric smithing. I don't know what a Daedra is. Can create Daedric armor and weapons at forges and improve them twice as much. Ebony. Okay. Orcish. Oops. Did not mean to. There we go. Smithing seems really useful. I mean, I'm probably, th like, this episode, I'm going to increase to level 10. So maybe I'll increase the um, smithing perk later. But I think I want to go to one-handed. Nope, one-handed. Can I just scroll over? There we go. And I want to do one of these. Okay, that's with maces. That's with swords. Uh, that's with axes. Power attacks with one-handed weapons caught. Hmm. Maybe I'll just do this one. There we go. Okay. So that's done. And now I, let me see what I have in my favorites. Okay, I need to put some things in my favorites. And then I can go get my goat. Okay, conjuration. I want, oh wait, favorite is that one. Okay, I wanna see what this thing is because I bought it, but I didn't test it out. What is the meaning of this? Cool. Okay. Um, maybe I'll favorite that too. I want to have you ready to go. Okay. I don't think I need anything else. Oh, maybe shouts. Okay. And as for items, let me just go to my weapons. That one. Oh, no, sorry. Favorite. Maybe this will be my main bow. That is worth a lot of money. Maybe I should sell it. And that one. There we go. Okay, and now let me just see. Okay. 
All right, that was done. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors. Are you feeling all the right? Oh my gosh, how do I leave? Oh my gosh. Security in White Run is terrible. Shameful. All right, so just to review, I am going to. Oh my gosh, I need to go to the quests. Okay. So my goal right now, so Pets of Skyrim, I found a notice in the Bannered Mare offering a tamed goat for sale. I need to talk to Halvar and Rorkstead to purchase it because it's based off of the note. It's my understanding that this goat might potentially, oh my gosh, might potentially be able to carry things for me. Uh, this one. Uh, okay. For sale, one tamed mountain goat able to carry a hefty amount of weight to the throat of the world and back again. Gives good milk. If interested in purchasing, see Halvar and War in Rorikstead. Okay, so that is where I'm going to get a goat. I hope the goat's not too expensive because I also want to save money to buy, like, property somewhere. Or, like, buy a house or something. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience at the market stall. Good morning. Good morning. The wolves of Skyrim are feral savage beasts and hunt in packs to take down any prey available. It may be animal or man. Oh, it may be animal or man. Wow. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, and then I think I go this way based off of that compass thing. The name Rorikstead sounds very familiar. Um, at the beginning of the game where that like horse thief was the one that like got killed by like the arrow is that where he was from was that Rorikstead or is that somewhere else I'm trying to remember I think that's where he's from I wonder if the people in the town will like mention him at all what was his name it was like Lock something Lockier Locklear I don't know something like that anyways I think that's where I'm going is his hometown so that'll be interesting. Oh, hello, good sirs. Oh, you're, you're a interfering Thalmor. with official Thalmor business. Ah. Who's this person? You're interfering with official Thormor business. Sorry. I'll leave you alone then. Please don't attack me. I'm so pretty. Oh, look, can I catch? Oh my gosh. There we go. What is this place? Fort Graymore. 
Hmm. Okay, I will come back to this place. I really want to get the goat first. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This, like, scenery looks very similar to a hiking trail I did here in Canada. Okay, not, like, very similar, but, like, the vibe is very similar. Like, with just, like, the panoramic view I'd of the mountains, and then it's, like, kind of, like, a little valley area. Looks very I'd similar. stay away if I were you. Why? I'm on my way to a giant camp. And I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offering. Keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Is this guy gonna sacrifice his cow? What are you offering to the giants? The cow, of course. Others do it differently. But I found that an annual offering usually keeps the giants away from our livestock. Some think it's superstition, but I believe it works. I've yet to have a giant kill any of my livestock. Huh. And the paint on the cow? It's tradition. We mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Hmm. Sort of a peace offering. Need any help? I have everything under control. Thanks for offering. Good luck. Thanks. You take care of yourself now. I kind of want to see how this plays out. I kind of want to follow him. <clears throat> Are you not gonna go? Poor cow. Either way this ends up, I'm headed to the inn. What inn? Either this ends up, I'm headed to the inn. Okay. Oh, I really wanted to follow him and see what was going to happen. Dang, okay. Well, I guess I'll just continue on. Anyways, yeah, this place looks like a hike I did. It's very beautiful. You're interfering with official Thulmore... Maybe I'll see if I can, like find a picture and like post it at the end of this video or somewhere. If you guys are interested, I don't know if you are. Maybe I'll like stay in the grass parallel to the path so I can try and collect some stuff. So I really want to make more potions and poisons. I like went and I rewatched um, the parts of the videos where I was making potions and I put everything into a spreadsheet. That way I like, so I have like a spreadsheet of all the ingredients and like what potions and poisons they made. And then I also have like a spreadsheet of like the combinations that didn't work. So the next time I make potions, um, I'm not wasting <laughs> ingredients. That's what I was doing when I was like waiting for my last uh, video to like upload and render onto YouTube. <laughs> oh, this guy. I don't think I'm ready to fight one of those things. That looks scary. Okay, what's this down here? We got a circle. If you look this way, what do you see? That mountain. 
Is this just like a compass? You look this way, you see that. Interesting. This is so cool. Wow. Oh, hey, one of these things. Nern roots, harvest that. It's so pretty. Come here, butterfly. Catch. And I want that one. I'm almost there. Uh, let's zoom out here. Uh, okay, I'm like almost there, I think. Oh, who's this guy? Hello. Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. The life of adventure and song is the life for us, eh, Ooh. friend? Can you teach me about speechcraft? Ah, well, after a little incident with a roguish lad and uh, the daughter of a prominent thane, well, let's just say, best not. Afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in solitude. Okay. Uh, what are you doing out here? Why, to perform for my common man, of course. Why should only the courts and inns of wealthy towns be given the gift of music? Okay. Aye. Goodbye, my friend. this red dot what is happening why are you attacking me an assassin oh my gosh why do I have an assassin after me search amethyst dark brotherhood assassins no Sorry, I'll take that. What the heck? Who are the Dark Brotherhood? Books. Uh, oh, there it is. Read. As instructed, you are to eliminate Krista by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We're already, we've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. Astrid. Who wants me dead? I've only been doing nice things. Interesting. Huh. 
Aw, is that like a little farm? So cute. Maybe I'll explore it later. First, I gotta get my goat. Aw, what a cute little farm. Aw, okay. Who is this, Rorikstead? Oh, I really want to go up there and see where that path leads. Okay, first over here. Okay. I take it this is Halvar. How do I get in here? Rourke's dead. Oh. Yes? Yeah? Can I buy your goat? Of course. 200 gold. Okay. For that That's price? Sure. Okay. Greet Hilda the goat. Where's Hilda? Oh, oh, oh. No, I just want to exit that. Ah, okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, where's Hilda? Another fine day at work in the fields. I don't envy those city folk who miss out on the joys of what they've done. There's Hilda. Aw, I have a goat. Hey there, buddy, you wanna come with me? Okay, find out more about Hilda. Okay. Oh, I'll give you a collar. And then I need you to carry something. Wow. Okay. Okay. First, I know what I need you to carry. Okay. Uh, these dragon bones are very heavy. So I'll give you that. Dragon scales, you can carry that. And then I have a ton of wolf pelts. You can carry all of those. Those are heavy. Okay. Um, and then, let me see. I kind of want to sell some of these things. Maybe I'll carry these for now because I want... Oh, wait. I want to keep that. But I don't want to use it. And I want to keep that because that looks cool. I want to keep that. I want to keep that. I want to keep that. And that. And I want to keep that. And that. Uh, okay. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, in my YouTube comments, somebody said I should wear... Oh my gosh. I need to wear the Amulet of Talos. So let me just put that thing on. Uh, equipped that. Okay. And then read Halvar's journal. Okay. Um... Let's see, came into town a few days ago looking for work. The folks here are nice enough, and there's plenty of wheat and potatoes needing to be harvested, so I've got a steady supply of coin coming in. I don't think I'm going to need my old pat goat Hilda much longer, for much longer. All my bones are starting to creak, and my adventuring days are long over. Now I just need to find someone willing to take care of her. Maybe get a few coins for her too. There's strength in those old bones of hers yet. Ah, uh, how am I, how I'm going to miss wandering the wilds of Skyrim. So many strange and wonderful things out there. Pine trees, as tall as mountains, old Nord tombs. I once even stumbled across a wandering spirit made of pure ice. Even ran across a few folks trying their hand at taming different types of creatures. Don't know why they'd want anything but a loyal dog or a trusty goat like my Hilda, though. Some of them beasts out there in the wild just aren't meant to be tamed. Ran across an alchemist with a pet rabbit, and almost got robbed by a thief with a tame fox. But I suppose a rabbit or a fox could be docile enough, but that pickpocket trying to train a skeever must have been as mad as old Shio. And I don't want to think too hard about the vampire that almost made a meal out of me. Could have sworn it had a trained frostbite spider. Gives me the shivers just thinking about it. Cool. Okay, I'll take that. 
All right, so there's more animals I can find. Uh, let me see, gotta open my quests. Okay, how do I find these? Oh, it's not letting me toggle as active. Um, okay, after reading Hellfire's journal on his adventures through Scryer, I've discovered there are many other tame animal companions out there in the wild. I should set out to find them. Okay, I guess I'll just like randomly stumble upon them. All right, so I got my goats. I want to quick save. And now I think I just want to talk to everyone in this town. Oh, wait. Hilda. I think there was a command, yeah, to get you to follow me. There we go. Is she coming? Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Oh, now I can um, take off this backpack. Uh, perfect. And I also want to take off my arrows. There we go. Okay, let's talk to Enos. You're looking a little rough around the edges. You feeling all right? Okay. Did you see those guards? Get out of line and you'll have them to deal with. We're honest, hard-working folk here, and we don't suffer beggars or thieves. Your farmer's doing very well. You must be proud. Do I detect a bit of jealousy in your tone? No. I would hardly blame you. What calling could be more noble than this? I see in your eyes that you think I jest. I assure you I don't. I am proud, and rightfully so, of the work we do here. Working the soil with your hands, seeing your seeds take root and grow, tending a herd. There is a joy in honest labor you won't find elsewhere. Yo, I respect mm -hmm. your profession. Farming is very hard. Very labor intensive. Okay. Uh, unlock Cow Flop Farmhouse. Got some guards. Ooh, is this like a, a store? Frost fruit in. If you've got some business in Rorikstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. Juan? Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but Juan's the one who deals with people. I'm afraid I lost my charm years ago. Is the town of Rorikstead named for you? Yes, that's right. Look around you. Most of the lands you see are mine. Most of this I purchased while my comrades were fighting in the south, helping the empire against the Aldmeri Dominion. Back then, nothing would grow here, and so the land was worthless. Now, thanks to the hard work and the gods' blessings, our farms prosper. Hmm, okay. Uh, has the war taken a toll on your settlement and its people? Not yet, anyway, though it certainly could. With most of the Hold's fighting men committed to the war, there are fewer swords to keep the road safe from brigands and wild beasts. And of course, as the war drags on and supplies run low, our ample fields and stores of food will make a tempting target for desperate men. Mm. The best we can hope for, a swift end to the conflict. The longer the war goes on, the worse it will be for all of us, I'm afraid. Did you fight in the Great Aye, War? Aye, that I did. I commanded a force of several dozen men, most of them levies from villages in the part of the Hold. I damn near met my end in that war. An old merry soldier ran me through with his blade and left me for dead. A healer named Joanne saved my life. He's been my closest friend ever since. I tell you, that man is a miracle worker. All right. All right then. Are you, Joanne? If you need a meal or room, I've got both. I only take real coin here. No handouts and no bartering. Have you heard any rumors lately? People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? I think I've heard that rumor before. All right. I don't want to steal. Oh, 
Oh my god, Hilda. That's gonna be annoying if she keeps standing in the doorways. No! <laughs> Alright, where's this Joanne guy? Since it was implied, I should talk to him. Aye, now that's some fine armor. Good old fashioned steel. Rorik's Manor. Oh. Watch the skies, traveler. What a cute little town. Lemkill's farmhouse. Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all. Why? I got enough troubles, so don't go adding to them. What the? Sorry. Oh, no hello. offense, but you're not looking so good. Are you feeling ill? I'm fine. You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. Uh, so wait, have you lived here all your life? Born and raised right here in Rorikstead. My father was a soldier. He fought in the Great War, and when it was over, he retired here to raise a family. My mother passed away when I was just a babe, so he did his best to raise me on his own. It's not the most exciting place in the world, but... The people here work hard. They don't cause trouble for anyone. Your crops seem it's to true. be thriving. For as long as I can remember, our crops have always done well. I'm not sure whether it's the soil, climate, or the favor of the divines, but we've never had a poor harvest. Hmm. Okay, so what is it you need? I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, we couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you can change his mind. Uh, I'll see what I can Thank do. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. Okay. If you've got some business in Rorikstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. I'm trying to if find you. Need a meal, I okay. only take real coin here. No handouts and no bartering. Uh, I'm in need of some work. Do you have anything for me? Of course. It's all in this note. Missing merchant added. Okay. That fool son of mine, Eric, wants to be an adventurer. He's a good natured lad, but he's got no idea how dangerous the world really is. You're just ignorant, maybe. I'd like to talk to you about your son. My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? You should let your son choose the life he wants. Your days of exploiting your son are over. Ooh. Uh, let's do this one. But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. Oh, gosh. Uh, you'd prefer your son to grow bitter and resent you? Perhaps you should let a father decide what is best for his own son. Okay. Uh, find the money or you'll have me to deal with. Oh, I see. Uh, just remember that I saved a few septums in case of an emergency. This is really mean. To feel like one. I'm Tell sorry. Eric that I've changed my mind. And we'll visit White Run soon to fit him for armor. And please, don't hurt me. Oh, I feel bad now. I didn't want to like. Okay, just like something act a quest activated. Uh 
missing merchant. Uh, I received a notice from the Jarl's steward. Huh? You're not the Jarl's steward. Okay, I received a notice from the Jarl's steward regarding a missing person. I should read it and see if I can be of help. Okay, books. Uh, missing merchant. By order of Ulfric Stormcloak, to all able-bodied men and women of Skyrim, a merchant by the name of Gunther Frostfoot has gone missing. Uh, okay, he was last seen in the area near Trader's Post. Any assistance in this matter would be appreciated. Okay. Uh, let me see. That's so far. Why do I have a note for something all the way over there? I don't even think Alfric's your Jarl, isn't it like this? Oh wait, what is this? Oh, that's right, I need to find that guy's family sword. That's right, I'm right here. Shouldn't like this guy be your Jarl? Or like this guy? Why, I don't wanna, okay. Well, when I'm over here, I guess I'll deal with that. That's not going to be a priority right now. I'm going to unselect that. I guess uh, I'll go back to Eric. Oh, and then I need to find this Yolin guy or whatever. Or Jolene or whatever. Okay. Uh, let's see, Eric was over here. There you are. Come back. Okay. No offense, but you're not Your father changed his mind. Thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Oh, thank you. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. Sure. All right, then. That sounds lovely. What is this? Mine stone quarry. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> okay. My father, Ralki, manages the inn. He used to be a soldier, but he left that life behind. If you're thinking of setting up to farm, you pick the right place. Peace and prosperity are all the good folk of Rorikstead want in life. Your farms are thriving even despite the harsh climate. What's your secret? secret? What makes you think there's a secret? I feel like there's a secret. There are no secrets here, my curious friend. Our prosperity is simply the result of hard work. Everybody's implying there's a secret. And the blessings of the gods. Something evil gonna happen? Uh, how will you protect yourselves against dragons? How can we? We're a community of farmers, not fighting men. If not for the war, we might have enough guards in the hold to protect the settlements. That the dragons should return now is most unfortunate. Mm -hmm. How did a Breton like yourself come to dwell in Rorikstead? Have you met Rorik? He owns these lands, and it's from him that our village gets its name. We've been friends for many years now. Hmm. Rorik fought for the Empire in the Great War. He was gravely wounded, and so was brought before me. I was a healer then, you see. We were as close as kinsmen, and when Rorik returned home, I came with him. I'm happy to spend my twilight years here with my good friend. Oh, how nice. Take care now. All right. I guess I'll go get this guy's family sword. I'm going to be able to, like, cut across all of this. Oh, my God. 
this farm is so cute. Oh, there's a ghost. Golden Hills Plantation discovered. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why are you attacking me? Soon you will know the cold of death. Started the unquiet dead. What? Search plantation for clues. All right, Hilda, wait here. I hope you don't die. Oh my God. Search Ervil. Let's see, read torn page. I feel strange, hot and cold all at once. My hand shakes. Hard to write, so dizzy. I think I've been poisoned. She seems to have gotten the better of me after all. I wonder. I think I wanna try something. Should I go here, here? No, not a show. My powers. Uh, the ritual stone. And if I bring you back to life. Oh shit. I did not mean to do that. Okay. There we go. I guess I have to find out. Oh wait, this thing activated a quest. I should probably read that first because I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one. Upon reaching Golden Hills Plantation, I discovered that the rumors were true. What rumors? Uh, this place is indeed haunted by the restless dead. What is driving the spirits of these simple farmers to such rage? And what sort of tragedy caused their untimely deaths? I should search the farm to find out more. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll go into first person. Read Ervil's journal. Okay, 14th of the first seed. Today's the first day of our new lives. I bought a sizable piece of land with a rundown farmhouse for dirt cheap just outside of Rorikstead. No one else wanted it on account of how rocky it is. It is too many boulders, the other men said, but John Quill and I have strong backs and willing hearts. We'll get those boulders out and turn this fertile land into a plantation that could only that they could only dream of. This will be the perfect place to raise our little Rin. 21st of second seed. Long day, hand hurts, almost too much to write. Farmhouse is repaired and the first plants are in the ground. Feels good, we did it. John Quill kissed me tonight, like she did when we were first married. Her eyes are calling me. First of, the sun, first of sun's height. We harvested our first crops today. It wasn't much, but it's a start. When I watched the sun's rays first break over the horizon uh, on our fields today, I knew what to name this place, Golden Hills Plantation. After Akatosh's glorious light, soon it will be an inheritance worthy of our sun. Just a bit longer, I know. 
It's <laughs> okay. Twenty third of twenty third of Frostfall. My heart is troubled. Rin is fast growing into a strapping young boy, though he spends too much time playing with that wooden sword of his and dreaming of running off to join the Legion. But my dear wife Jonquil, her strangeness worries me. Sometimes she'll disappear for hours at a time and then turn up in the house as though she's been there all along. I often see her carrying a basket full of strange dark flowers that she won't tell me what they are or where she got them. And last winter, when Rin fell ill with fever, Jonquil produced a small black bottle from who knows where and poured who knows what down his throat. Only a few minutes later, the fever was gone. Jonquil refused to tell me what was in the bottle or where she got it. I was so happy that she saved our little boy, of course, but dot dot dot. Mara preserved me, but I'm afraid that my wife is a daedra worshipper or a witch. 16th of mid-year. Rin has been missing for three days, my little boy. I've searched everywhere, but there's no trace of him. Even his favorite toy sword is missing. What? <clears throat> what if the wolves got him? Or brigands snatched him away? Jonquil has been watching me. I don't like the look in her eyes. And she hasn't cried at all. What kind of mother doesn't cry when her child's missing? What if? I dare not even put the thought to paper. It's unthinkable. I found it. I found Jonquil's secret. This is the place she's been disappearing to. The potions, the plants, the books. Such evil and unnatural things I found down there. Divines, help me, my wife is a witch. I didn't want to open her foul books, but I had to know. I had to. Deadly Nightshade, that's what that plant is called. The one I saw her sneaking around with. She grows it everywhere in this hidden place. She must have poisoned my son. I've seen that sneer on her face, the laughter in her eyes. As she watched me tearing apart the farm looking for him, she was mocking me. I've never felt rage like this. I'm shaking with it, sweating with it. I know exactly what I've got to do. My son's spirit whispers to me, demanding vengeance. I keep an axe by the door for dealing with wild animals. It will do for dealing with a witch as well. Oh my god. You killed your wife with an axe. Okay, now I need to find her laboratory. Oh. Uh, activate button. No? No? Oh. Who is happening? is messed up. That is so messed up. Well, now they are together at last. Oh my gosh. Um, 23rd of first seed. Ervil wanted so badly to make a go at being farmer, so here we are now with our own rocky plot of land and a ruined old farmhouse with a leaky roof. It's not what we dreamed of, but we'll make the best of it. At least the soil's good, even if it's full of boulders. I'll be able to get a nice garden going with all the ingredients I need for my potions. The income from that should get us through the first winter, if nothing else. 10th of second seed. I found a secret room walled off in the basement. It will do nicely for my alchemy lab. I love my husband dearly, but he can be a pig-headed adult when it comes to the gentle magics of the earth. If it weren't for my potions, little Ren would have perished last winter from a fever. Oops, too far. First of Frostfall. Our plantation is doing well enough, but Ervil's eyes are getting bigger than his purse. 
he was talking of purchasing a wagon recently like we didn't sometimes struggle to put food on the table a wagon honestly i've seen the ugly looks he gives my potions and herbs but where else am i going to get the money for all the things he buys next thing you know he'll be trying to buy another farm 13th of mid-year rin's gone missing we've looked everywhere but we can't find him we can't find find him his little wooden sword is missing too. Gods preserve me. I hope he hasn't run off. He doesn't realize how dangerous it is out there with the t out there on the tundra. 16th of mid-year. It's been three days now. My little boy is still gone. I don't like how Ervil is looking at me. His eyes are too dark, too still, like a frozen lake. I think I even heard him mutter something about getting what I deserve. Could he have? No, I dare not even put the thought to paper. He did it. He must have. That monster killed my son, and now he looks at me with those hate-filled eyes and a mocking smirk. He despises my al my alchemical alchemical arts so much that he took my son from me to punish me. I've never brewed poison before, but I know how it's done. I know how to bottle death. A few drops of a few drops in his meat, and my child will be avenged. It's done. The gods will damn me, but they will damn him more for the murder of a child. Rin, I'm so sorry. I wish I could have. Wait, I hear some. And that's when he killed her with the axe. Wow. I'll take all these potions. Oops. my gosh there we go so many books to read book of daedra the book of daedra as zero whose sphere is dusk and dawn the magic oh this is lore stuff okay i'm gonna take this and read it later i just don't want to interrupt the uh Ooh, song of alchemists i don't want to interrupt the flow of this quest here the song of alchemists I'll take that, read that later. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Okay, I'll come back. them in there and just hide their bodies okay so now I have to uh, let me see I uncovered the truth about what occurred at Golden Hills Plantation after their son disappeared Ervil and Jonquil killed each other Jonquil with uh, extract of deadly nightshade Ervil with an axe each thinking the other had murdered their son Rin the only way to bring peace to their spirits is to discover what really became of Rin okay find out what happened to Rin Okay. I have to go outside. So there's no clues in here. Oh. There is a clue in here. Read Rin's journal. <sighs> Mom and Pa are fighting again. They always. They're always fighting these days. Ma hates how obsessed Pa is with cows and the price of wheat and all that boring stuff. Pa doesn't like Ma's flowers or her bottles of goopy stuff. I don't like the goopy stuff either, but it does make me feel better when I'm sick, so I guess it's okay. I can't wait till I'm old enough to join the Legion and get away from the farm. I've been practicing every day with my sword. I think I'm good enough to be a captain or even a general, but Pa doesn't want me to join the Legion because he says I have to take over the farm when I'm old enough. Ma doesn't want me to go because it's dangerous. That's about the only thing they agree on. I bet if I defeated a bandit or killed a wolf or something, that would show them. Then they would have to let me join up with the Legion. Pa always tells me to stay away from the old well, the one toward the tall monument out by the tree, sitting on a rock. Wolves like to hunt out there, he says. 
So that's where I'll go. I'll kill a wolf and bring home its head. I just got shivers. I think I know what happened to the kid. Uh, and that'll prove I'm a man and not a baby. I'm tired of listening to mom and pa yell at each other anyway. Oh no. Okay. Uh, just right. There was very specific um, instructions here. Written journal. Uh, okay. Pa tells me to stay away from the old well, the one toward the tall monument out by the tree sitting on a rock. Well by monument tree rock. Okay. Is it over here, straight ahead? Oh, there's a rock here. This looks right. Okay, so there's a tree on a rock. That's the monument. Whoa! Where is this thing? Okay. Oh my gosh. Why are there... Skeleton? Oh my god. Cook that. Oh my god, that is so Oh no, I oh no, I fucked up the skeleton. Now those bones, the hands are rolling down. Oh no. Oh no. Stop rolling, please. It's still going? Oh my gosh. That is so sad. Wow, I don't even know what to say. So the kid was probably killed by these wolves that were here. Oh my god. Place Rin sword. Speak to Rin. Oh my god. Hmm? Uh, your family can rest in peace Thanks now. Thanks a lot! Here, take this for all your hard work. 
tea to Golden Hills Plantation added. Okay. That quest was so messed up. That is so sad. And it could have been avoided if the parents literally just spoke to each other and communicated like adults and not just like, I don't know, hiding their thoughts from each other. That's why communication is so important in a healthy relationship. Oh my God. Did this just activate another uh, plant crops? <gasps> I don't want to. Okay. What is going on now? That was messed up. I'm just gonna save quickly. Okay, what happened? Oh gosh. Uh, the rest of the spirits at Golden Hills Plantation can finally rest in peace. Reunited with the spirit of their son and knowing that neither of them murdered their own child, their only child. Now that Golden Hills Plantation is no longer haunted, I can claim it for my own. I don't want it. <sighs> a farmer's life for me. Now that I've laid the ghost haunting Golden Hills Plantation to rest and claimed it for my own, I should see about getting my new homestead restored to its former glory. I should get some crops in the ground. Sure. Oh my god. That's so sad. What do I do? Oh, uh, I understand. Uh, what do I farm? What should I plant? I have to plant 10 things. Okay, maybe I'll plant some blister wart. And then beside it, I'll plant some wheat. So I can use that for a healing potion. Okay. And then uh, a blue mountain flower. I don't know, just plant that thing. Sure. Okay. Hire a steward for the plantation. How do I do that? Okay, I should find a steward to manage the day-to-day -day operations. Perhaps one of my allies would be willing to take on the job after I show them the place. Or if I were to get married. What? I can get married? Okay. Okay. Uh, I could make this place our home and my spouse could run the farm. How do you get married? I like search. Oh, what was this? 
Use a farmer's workbench. Okay. Builds animal pens. Allows cows, goats, and chickens to be purchased for the farm. So I need firewood and nails. I'm going to make a note of things I need. Okay. Uh, firewood. Nails. I need straw. Oh my gosh. Uh, a hinge. Uh, iron fittings. Iron ingots. Two firewood. I need more firewood. We need a lock. Straw hinge nails. Nails and firewood. Iron fittings. Okay. Oh, well, here's some firewood. You need a woodcutter's axe. There's an axe. There we go. That's enough. Um, let me just put on my back. Oh, too far. My backpack. Yeah, there we go. And then I can build something. This is new. Aw, and there's like little reeds. That's cute. Okay. And then in here I can plant things. Activate soil. In memory of John Quill, I'm going to plant some nightshade. Do some nightshade. How many things can I plant in here? And then I'm gonna plant a death bell. And a dragon's tongue. it I can't tell I can't see and then I'm gonna do the same on this side for symmetry okay activate soil um, nightshade oh what happened Death Bell. And Dragon's Tongue. Cute, okay. Ah, uh, what time is it? 10 at night, maybe I will go to that inn in Rorikstead and spend the night there and then I will head back to Whiterun and see if I can find somebody to manage my farm oh yeah and then on my way back to Whiterun I will get that guy's family sword 
Oh wait, I think I'm going the wrong way. Which way is Rockstead? Uh, up here. Ooh. Let's do some mining first. I'm still not over how messed up that quest was. There it is. Nope, that's my farm. Oh my gosh, where's Rorkstead? There it is. Is this the inn? No, it's the farmhouse. Is this the inn? No, where, where's the inn? Oh, I walked past it. There it is. No offense, but you're not look. Hey, hands <gasps> off! Oh shit! I didn't mean to take that. You can't take that. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. I just wanted to talk to Eric. My father, Ralki, manages the inn. He used to be a soldier, but he left that life behind. Okay. I just wanted to buy a room. If you need a meal or room. I've got. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Where is it? I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Okay. No offense, but you're not looking so good. My father, Ralki, manages the inn. He used to be a soldier. Why aren't you off, you're off exploring? Okay. Oh, I need to find someone to work on my farm. Need something. Oh, it's raining. Well, that'll be Can't good for my crops, I guess. Okay, I realized that I left Hilda at the farm. I need to get her. There she is. Oh, she's just sitting out in the rain. That's so sad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, at least she's grazing. Come with me. I need you to carry things. All right, and then I guess I'll just go off of this way. Goodbye, messed up farm. I will find a steward somewhere. I might have to go back to right what run and talk to people. See if any of them wants to be my steward. What is this guy? Legate Quentin Sykesidola. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. 
If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. And what's the Imperial Legion doing in Skyrim? Not sure I understand the question. The Legion's always been in Skyrim. We have garrisons throughout all the provinces of the Empire. Our mission is to serve the Emperor, uphold the law, Why are protect you out here? the citizenry. Skyrim's days are darkening, and the Legion will soon be called into service like never before. But we stand ready, as always, to meet that call. Okay. I'll take my leave then. Why are you like in the middle of nowhere, literally? Need to go this way. Why is this here? What is this for? Just like a random like shrine? For who? For what? Ah. Hmm. Okay. Why are you flying away? <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh uh this one. Oh, okay. Stop. Oh my gosh.
she's caring too much now. What is a flawed violet stone? That's worth a lot, though. These garnets are worth a lot. Okay. Cool. Kill the dragon. Oh, I want to take off my backpack. Uh. There we go. Oh, never mind. I have to put that back on. Okay, where's this guy's family sword? Is this it? Yeah. Right, because the thing I'm doing, if I go to my quests, there's this miscellaneous thing. Uh, find Armin's family sword inside Red Orin's retreat. All right, Hilda. You can wait here. And then, actually, let me utilize my favorites. That might be fun. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly save the game. All right, guys, I'm back. I took a brief ba break. Um, I was reading some YouTube comments and somebody had suggested to uh, turn down the sensitivity on my controller and that would make using my bow easier i just have to figure out where to do that yeah okay so i thought like turning this all the way up would like make things easier but i think it's making it worse oops so i'm just going to do that also don't judge me <laughs> maybe i'll turn this up a bit Oh, maybe I'll go to Apprentice. We'll see how that goes. I want to enjoy the game, which is why I have it on easy. I feel like if I was any harder, like I, let's try that. I don't think I would have as much fun. I don't like dying. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to try that and see if using the bow is easier. Okay, let's go in here and get this guy's family sword. So, oops, wrong button. I also want to just change my arrows really quick. I don't want to like use all of these ebony ones because they seem like, yeah, damage 20. I'll just go to iron. What else do I have? Steel. Okay, that's only like one better. I'll just go like that. That's so cool how this makes me invisible. I'm going to come back and get all these mushrooms at the end. Wait. Okay, that's because I turned the difficulty to legendary. 
I also just don't want to kill the dog. Can I not kill the dog? Okay, let's just... Okay, that was like really silly of me. Obviously I was gonna die. Let's go. There we go. We'll try apprentice level. I think as I get like more into the game and better at it, I will scale the difficulty up. Maybe eventually it'll be at legendary. Um, oh yeah, and then I have the ebony arrows, which I don't want to use. I'm just gonna save. Oh yeah, what I wanted to do. Um, shouts. Okay, so this sues wild beasts. Okay, will that work on the dog? Uh, why to unlock? And then I'm gonna try it. All right, let's see if this does anything. And then yeah, like I said, I'll come back for all these mushrooms after. I'm gonna collect all of them for my potions. Oh wait, I was gonna use this. Oh, it did work on the dog. Okay, I'm... Be my imagination. Oh, he walked away. With three beers down, the orc did frown and bid the elf goodbye, for none could know. Oh, that's so much easier. Someone had to die. <laughs> that was fun. I got too far. What was that? Guess it's all clear now. Okay. I even just said I hate dying. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Save. Huh. Don't have to do that again. Time to end this little game. You can't hide from me.
Excuse me. Oh my god, I think I go this way. Okay. Bounty this time. Walk into the city of free man. Is someone there? <laughs> that was fun. Where's this bandit leader? Is he over there? Oh shit, you saw me. Actually. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> if I, I don't want to die again. What was this treasure map? Okay. Um, hmm. WR means white run, right? And that must be like the windmill at that one farm place. Okay, I'm gonna go and try and and then I have to go up a mountain or something and there's treasure on that ledge. Okay, that is what I'm gonna do. Can I favor it? No, I can't. Okay, fine.
Can I leave? Oh my gosh. This way. Okay, weapons can impre be improved at the grindstone. Armor can be improved at a blacksmith's table. Yes, I knew that one. Hmm. Hello, Hilda. All right, let's go to Whiterun. We will give this guy back his sword. I will go and find that treasure. Then I'm gonna make a bunch of potions. Um, and then I'm gonna figure out what quest I want to do. I think I know which one I want to do. It was one from um, a couple of videos ago, I was like reading books and I activated one of these quests. I think it was like about lost legends or something. I think I want to do that one. Anyways, which way is white run? This way. Okay, uh, I pushed that button. Oh, I'm sneaking still. There we go, okay. Hilda has milk to collect. <sighs> Silver? You cannot use this while in combat. What? Oh my god. Can I use this now? Yeah. Okay. Was that weight run up there? Oh, shit.
is this? Back off. I'm warning you. Back off. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. <laughs> Read Smuggler's Trade Notes. Started the staff of something. Oh my gosh, okay. The new source has been a real boon. Skooma poisons, black soul gems, you name it. We've got a line to a wide range of goods and an even wider range of clients. Which reminds me, someone needs to tell Akari where she can stick her bottle of sugared cat piss. We're done. What? <laughs> Meanwhile, we're filling up our coffers faster than we can empty them. We're drinking day and night and still haven't gone through half the gold from the marrow wind job for the corpse fondlers. With Argonian patrols up and down the border, we can charge an arm and a leg and a tail for every crate that comes in. As for the zombie petters, they were pretty pleased the staff wasn't damaged. Creepy looking thing too was glad to be rid of it. It's a shame we couldn't hold out a couple more days though. This morning another buyer came by the camp. An orc with a face so lumpy he must have jumped headfirst off the top of Dragon's Reach. Turns out he was looking for the same staff, offering to pay double. I told him we could have something better for him on the next boat from Solthseam, but he was pretty sodding clear there was only one staff he wanted to buy. Makes sense. The only thing uglier than his than this orc was that staff. Maybe he wants to hold it up when he shaves so he doesn't feel so bad for being born. Oh my god. I mean. Anyways, I told him the information on the buyers and sent him on his way. Couldn't get him to trade any of the valuables on his carriage, but it's all right. There's more than one way to part a fool and his things. I told the boys to cut him off on the road west of Whiterun at the burnt down house between the watchtower and Fort Graymore. Given how obsessed he was about the staff, it'll be easy to catch him off guard. Okay, so something about finding a staff? I found a smuggler's note which may provide further information on their transactions. Go to the site of the ambush. Okay, maybe I'll do that, because that's nearby. Okay. Got it. Okay. Akari, you can take those prices and eat them. We've found our own source of skooma now, the real stuff, not watered down third-handed trash you've been selling. And don't even think about rattling, rattle, ratting us out. One word to the guard and we'll make sure they know what that seer of yours is really up to. Okay. 
What are all these dots? What is out there? Hmm, okay. And what is this? Read Avar Stonesinger. Okay, sit quietly, child, and listen, for the story I tell you is a story of ages. But what is it, grandfather? Is it a story of heroes and beasts? The grandfather looked patiently at the child. He was growing into a fine boy. Soon he would see the value in the stories, the lessons that were taught to each generation. Just listen, child. Let the story take root in your heart. In a time before now, long before, sorry, in a time before now, long before now, when the skull were new, there was peace in the land. The sun was hot and the crops grew long and the people were happy in the peace that the all maker provided. But the skull grew complacent and lazy and they took for granted the lands and all the gifts the all maker had given them. They forgot or chose not to remember that the adversary is always watching and that he delights in tormenting the all maker and his chosen people. And so it was that the adversary came to be among the skull. The adversary has many aspects. He appears in the unholy beasts and the incurable plague. At the end of seasons, we will know him as Sartag, the world devourer. But in these ages, he became, he came to be known as Greedy Man. The Greedy Man, that is what we call him, for to speak his name would certainly bring ruin on the people, lived among the skull for many months. Perhaps he was just a man, but when the adversary entered into him, he became the greedy man, and that is how he is remembered. It came to be one day that the powers of the skull left them, the strength left, the arms of the warriors and the shaman could no longer summon the beast to their side. The elders thought that surely the Allmaker was displeased, and some suggested that the Allmaker had left them forever. He was then that greedy man appeared to them and spoke. You of the skull have grown fat and lazy. I have stolen the gifts of your Allmaker. I have stolen the oceans. You will forever no thirst. I have stolen the lands and the trees and the sun, so your crops will wither and die. I have stolen the beasts, so you will go hungry. And I have stolen the winds, so you will live without spirit of the Allmaker. And until one of you can reclaim these gifts, the skull will live in misery and despair, for I am the greedy man, and that is my nature. And the greedy man disappeared. The members of the skull spoke many days and nights. They knew that one of them must retrieve the gifts of the Allmaker, but they could not decide who it would be. I cannot go, said the elder, for I must stay to lead the skull and tell our people what is the law. I cannot go, said the warrior, for I must protect the skull. My sword will be needed in case the greedy man reappears. I cannot go, said the shaman, for the people need my wisdom. I must read the portents and offer my knowledge. It was then that a young man called Avar lifted his voice. He was strong and of arm and fleet of foot, though he was not yet a warrior of skull. I will go, said Avar. And the skull laughed. Hear me out, the boy continued. I am not yet a warrior, so my sword will not be needed. I cannot read the portents, so the people will not seek my counsel. And I am young and not yet wise in the ways of the law. I will retrieve the gifts of the Yawmaker from the greedy man. If I cannot, I will not be missed. The skull thought on this briefly and decided to let Avar go. He left the village the next morning to retrieve the gifts. Avar first set out to retrieve the gift of water, so he traveled to the water stone. It was there the Allmaker first spoke to him, travel west to the sea and follow the swimmer to the waters of life. So Avar walked to the edge of the ocean and there was the swimmer, the black horker, sent from the Allmaker. The swimmer dove into the waters and swam very far and far again. Avar was strong though, and he swam hard. He followed the swimmer to a cave, swimming deeper and deeper, his lungs burning and his limbs exhausted. At last he found a pocket of air and there in the dark he found the waters of life. Gathering his strength, he took the waters and swam back to the shore. Upon returning to the water stone, the Yawmaker spoke. You have returned the gift of water to the skull. The oceans again will bear fruit, and their thirst will be quenched. Avar then traveled to the earth stone, and there the Yawmaker spoke to him again. Enter the cave of the hidden music and hear the song of the earth. So Avar traveled north and east to the cave of the hidden music. He found himself in a large cavern where the rocks hung from the ceiling and grew from the ground itself. He listened and there and heard the song of the earth, but it was faint. Grabbing his mace, he struck the rocks of the floor in the time in time with the song, and the song grew louder until it filled the cavern in his heart. Then he returned to the earth stone. The gift of the earth is with the skull again, said the Almaker. The lands are rich again and will bear life. Avar was tired as the sun burned him, and the trees offered no shade, and there was no wind to cool him. Still, he traveled on to the beast rock, and the Almaker spoke. 
find the good beast and ease his suffering, Ivar traveled through the woods of the Eisen Fair for many hours until he heard the cries of the bear from over the hill. As he crested a hill, he saw the bear, a farmer's arrow pierced its neck. He checked the woods for the farmer, for that is what they were, though some say they are not, and finding none, approached the beast. He, s he spoke soothing words and came upon it slowly, saying, Good beast, I mean you no harm. The Allmaker has sent me to ease your suffering. Hearing these words, the bear ceased his struggles and laid his head at Aver's feet. Aver grasped the arrow and pulled it from the bear's neck. Using the little nature magic he knew, Aver tended the wound. Though it took the last bit of his strength and the bear's wound closed, Aver slept. When he awoke, the bear stood over him, and the remains of a number of the fauna were strewn about. He knew that the good beast had protected him during the night. He traveled back to the beast rock, the bear by his side, and the Allmaker spoke to him again. You have returned the gift of the beasts. Once again, the good beasts will feed the skull when they are hungry, clothe them when they are cold, and protect them in times of need. Avar's strength had returned, so he traveled on to the tree stone. Though the good beast did not follow him, when he arrived, the Allfather spoke to him. The first trees are gone and must be replanted. Find the seed and plant the first tree. Avar traveled again through the Hearsting forest, searching for the seeds of the first tree, but he couldn't find none. Then he spoke to the tree spirits, the living trees. They told him that the seeds had been stolen by one of the farmer, for they are the servants of the adversary, and this farmer was hiding them deep in the forest so that none would ever find them. Avar traveled to the deepest part of the forest, and there he found the evil farmer, surrounded by the lesser tree spirits. Avar could see that the spirits were in his thrall, that he had used the magic of the seeds and spoken their secret name. Avar knew he could not stand against such a force, and that he must retrieve the seeds in secret. Avar reached into his pouch and drew out his flint. Gathering leaves, he started a small fire outside the clearing where the farmer and the and sorrel, whatever spirits milled. All the skull knew the spirits hated. All the skull knew. Oh my God! All the skull know the spirits hatred of fires, for the fires ravaged the trees they serve. At once, the nature of the spirits took hold, and they rushed to quell the flames. During the commotion, Avar snuck behind the farmer and snatched the pouch of seeds, stealing away before the evil knew they were gone. When Ava returned to the tree stone, he planted the trees on the ground, and the Yalmaker spoke to him. The gift of the trees is restored. Once again, the trees and plants will bloom and grow and provide nourishment and shade. Avar was tired, for the sun would only burn, and the winds would not yet cool him. But he rested briefly in the shade of the trees, his legs were weary and his eyes heavy, and he continued on, traveling to the sunstone. Again, the Almaker spoke. The gentle warmth of the sun is stolen, so now it is only so now it only burns. Free the sun from the halls of Penumbra. Ooh, interesting. Uh, and so Avar walked west over the frozen lands until he reached the halls of the Penumbra. The air inside was thick and heavy, and he couldn't see no farther than the end of his arm. Still, he felt his way along the walls, though he heard the shuffling of the feet and knew that his place held the unholy beasts who would tear his flesh and eat his bones for hours he crept along until he saw a faint glow far at the end of the hall there from behind a sheet of perfect ice came a glow so bright he had to shut his eyes lest he be forever blinded he plucked the flaming eye from one of the unholy beasts and threw it at the ice with his with all his might a small crack appeared in the ice then grew larger slowly the light crept out between the cracks widening them splitting the ice well into pieces with a deafening crack, the wall crumbled and the light rushed over Avar and through the halls. He heard the shrieks of the unholy beasts as they were blinded and burned. He ran out of the halls following the light and collapsed on the ground outside. When he was able to rise again, the sun, was, the sun warmed him, and he was glad for that. He traveled back to the sunstone where the Yalmaker spoke to him. The gift of the sun is the skull, is the skulls once again. It will warm them and give them light. Avar had one final gift. He had to recover. The gift of the winds. So he traveled to the windstone. Far on the western coast of the island, when he arrived, the Yalmaker spoke to him, giving him his final task. Find the greedy man and release the wind from its captivity. So Avar wandered the land in search of the greedy man. He looked in the trees, but the greedy man did not hide there. Nor did he hide near the oceans or the deep caves, and the beasts had not seen him in the dark forests. Finally, Avar came to the crooked house, and he knew that here he would find the greedy man. Who are you, shouted the greedy man, that you would come to my house? I am Avar of the Skull, said Avar. I am no warrior, sorry, I am not warrior, shaman, or elder. If I do not return, I will not be missed. But I have returned the oceans and the earth, the trees, the beasts, and the sun, and I will return the winds to my people so that we may feel the spirit of the Allmaker in our souls again. 
and with that he grabbed up the greedy man's bag and tore it open. The winds rushed out with gale force, sweeping the greedy man up and carrying him off far from the island. Avar breathed in the winds and was glad. He walked back to the windstone where the Almaker spoke to him a final time. You have done well, Avar. You, the least of the skull, have returned my gifts to them. The greedy man is gone for now and should not trouble your people again in your lifetime. Your Almaker is pleased. Go now and live according to your nature. And Avar started back to the skull village. And then what happened, grandfather? What do you mean, child? He went home. No, when he returned to the village, the child continued. Was he made a warrior or taught the ways of the shaman? Did he lead the skull in battle? I do not know. That is where the story ends, said the grandfather. But that is not an ending. That is how, that is not how stories end. The old man laughed and got up from his chair. Is it not? Why did I get chills? <laughs> okay, that's cool. I enjoyed that one. That was also really long. Why are there three things off in the distance? What is that? Oh my god. It'll be so much easier to rob when you're dead! Enough of this! Just stand Victory is Don't do this to me now, my guy. Thought the game froze for a second. <laughs> hmm. I just meant to jump. Oh, oops. I want like to go this way. <coughs> How do I get off? How do I get off the horse? Not B. Not Y. Oh, A. I thought I pushed that. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Be glad you're here in the city and not. Oh my gosh. Daedric princes are godlike beings. Ah, that inhabit the plane of oblivion. Most are considered evil, forcing their worshippers to build their shrines far from civilized places. So Daedra are godlike beings, and I can make Daedric armor. Okay, RK the god. Ugh. 
Why are these guys still here? Are they just always gonna like be here? I thought they weren't allowed in the city. Are you feeling sick? <sighs> okay. Um, first I need to level up. Uh, magic. Okay, and I want to increase um, Where is the one where you can make stuff? The crafting one. Did I go past it already? Smithing. There we go. All right. Let's go find this guy. Where is he? Alfred, patron of the great well met, kinsman. Well met. It's not easy being a woman in Skyrim, I know. This is confusing me. But stay strong. And okay, men will come to respect you, and maybe even fear you. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning you. But that bard is the worst. Someone giving you trouble? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the Bannered Mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. Gross. What a dick. What if I talk to Mikael? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. My axe will. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Definitely. Oh, speak of my guy. How goes the begging today, Brenuin? You tried mercenary? I have your sword. You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? I did. Thank you. Here, like my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. God smile on them who show charity. Cool. Ooh, I can train in one I can teach you a few things. Okay. Uh, maybe just a little bit. Nice. Okay, that's enough. I don't want to use all my gold. Right then. Oh, I can level up again. There's a rift here in Skyrim. I'm gonna save that for when I am in a battle because somebody also right. mentioned. Um, I actually noticed this too, when you like level up it, kind of resets your health bar. So I'm gonna save it for that, I think. Uh, okay, where is this bar? Let's get some mead. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. The what? Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. I don't care. Might consider joining up myself. I don't know if I wanna, oh my god. I ain't god. done nothing. Ooh, I'm looking to hire a farmland for my plantation. Yes. How much? Uh, sure. For that price? Sure. Fresh baked loaves, still warm from the oven. Okay, is that quest complete now? What's going on? I don't want to join the Dawn Guard right now. Wait, uh, what? Okay, so he's not a steward? What did I hire him what? for? Why are you looking at me? He... That Heimsker's crazy. Him uh, and his okay, tall Catalos. We should just shut up. Uh, okay, I'm confused. Oh yeah, I need to find this bard guy. Okay, just hold on. Where is he? And yeah, okay. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. The security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. 
I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. You need to leave Carlotta Valentina alone. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. She's not yours? What did you just say? All I heard was a sound of jealousy. How dare you? Okay. I don't have to take that from you. Never should have come here. Hilda, move come on, out of the let's way. Let's see what you're made of. Just stand still. I will not be taken out by a bard. Okay. Oh, come on. You know how to throw a punch, I'll give you that. You'll leave Carlotta alone or this Oh, you will leave Carlotta alone or this gets worse. You win. On my honor. I don't think Carlotta you have honor. won't have to worry about me ever again. Good. Don't do that. Huh? <laughs> okay. The security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. Ripe fruit and. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I'd thank the gods, but I'll the settle for cuts, thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Thank you. Would you like to work on it? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your oh hands gosh. only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Another letter? Chops and steaks. Oh my gosh, I have so many things in here. I wish like the new things you haven't read yet would be a different color. What is even this called? Okay, let's go through everything. Not that one. Not that one. I already read this one, right? Yes. That's what I just read. Anonymous letter. Please, someone help. A group of necromancers are experimenting with conjuring zombies using ancient dangerous magic, which I fear will have unintended and irreversible consequences. I've expelled them. Sorry. I've expelled... Oh my god, I was expelled from their studies as their ambitions grew into folly against my warnings. They're performing a ritual to summon a large group of those foul, uncontrollable creatures as we speak in the southernmost area of Skyrim, and must we stop before it's too late. It for a Jarl, come and see my selection of the finest the sand early today, Mama? What is it? I'm afraid no. Then Bob... Does that, like, do anything? Okay. Let's do this thing. And I would need to hire a steward for my friends. about another day left before it spoils. You look sick. I hope it's not contagious. That's what you always say. Okay. Let me know if you see anything you like. First, I want to sell some things. I work for Bellathor at the That's general nice. goods store. It's like I walk in, this guy's like, I work here. I have a necklace, I think, that makes things cheaper. Oh, maybe I don't.
Okay, this one increases my speech craft and when I sell things that affects the speech craft. Everything's for sale, my I'd even buy trinkets, Let's odds and ends, that sort of thing. Do this. Okay, so I want to sell no. I will sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Do come back. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Yes. The island of Saltseam is located to the northwest, sorry, the northeast of Skyrim. The northern maiden out of Bunhelm is known to occasionally take passengers back and forth. Cool. Okay. What am I doing again? Oh my gosh. I found a smuggler's note which may provide further information on their transactions. Okay. Let's do that, because that is nearby. I ain't done nothing. Are you making your way to my um, plantation? Is this? Do you seek to make a purchase? Come back. Hmm? Make a purchase of what? The road makes this one weary. The they'll never see you coming. May your road lead you to warm sands. Kajita's wares, if and you have coin. I've heard you've been running into trouble along the road. It is all in this note. What is going on behind me? Okay. Why An astute your question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away, but for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. Oh, I hope that wait. you will come to do this again. No, yes. no, no, I want to talk to this guy. Yes. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Can I sell some things to you? Wait, I don't want to buy anything. Just sell. Uh, 
I want to sell that one. Oh, sell. I don't want to sell that. That looks cool. Ah, sell that. Sell that, sell that. Sell that. Anything here I can sell? I really want to sell this, but I don't know what it's used for. It might be useful. Okay, maybe get rid of that. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll sell some of these. May the sun keep you warm, even in this land of bitter cold. Thank you. What the heck? Kill or pickpocket the orc. Oh, I have an idea. Never should have come here. to pickpocket you. That was so dumb of me. I'm so sorry. Mm. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill him next time. I thought me being invisible would make it so I could just like sneak up and pickpocket him. <sighs> oh, does that mean I have to talk to this resad guy again? Oh. Oh my god. Okay. I need to really start saving the game. <sighs> okay, let's go do this all really quickly once again. Ah! Oops, strong button. Hello, my employee. I ain't done nothing. That's right, I have a level up available. I wanna find these cat people. There they are, perfect. And Resad is the first one, so I'll just go ahead and talk to him. The wind blows bitter cold in this okay. place. It is all in this note. Yeah, let me give, give me that quest. Take a look. All right, let me sell some things really quickly again. Sorry, guys. I, what did I sell again? I don't remember. I think I sold, like, that. And then I sold 
that. And then I sold that, that. that, 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 and then I sold some stuff in here, I sold those, I sold like that, There we go. May your road lead you to war. And now I'm going to save the game. Sands. my ghost oh my god <laughs> okay time to stop messing around here uh... Hey guys, okay, so I am back here. I decided I am not gonna do that quest. I died an outrageous amount of times. I am just, I've accepted my character is not strong enough yet. And yeah, I'm just not gonna do it. Anyways, um, here is a montage of me dying. Enjoy. Oh. What the f I wasn't sneaking. Oh my god.
Who's attacking me? Why are these people attacking me? I thought we were on the same side. Although I'm just trying to use you guys as bait. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I think I'm just going to do some alchemy and some smithing uh, for the rest of this video. So um, if that doesn't interest you guys, then I guess you can like stop watching now. You're not going to miss any more quests or any more gameplay. I'm literally just going to like go to some like potion thing and just do a bunch of alchemy and then sell some potions. And then I might go to the forge and do some smithing because for my um, my plantation place, I need like hinges and I have a list. I need nails, hinges, iron fittings, an iron ingot and a lock. So I'm gonna like make those things. Um, and then I'll probably just end up saving the game here in Whiterun. And then when I play again, probably tomorrow, um, I'll just start off in white run and then um, we'll go from there. Oh, one thing. Okay. Um, let me see. Let's see. Hold on to this. Okay. So if there's like a quest that I have activated that you guys like really want to see me do, let me know and I can like prioritize that. Otherwise, I think I want to do this one. But if there's like something else. Like, if you really want to see me, like, I don't know, investigate the runes of Ark and Thams, then I can, like, prioritize doing that. Uh, the only thing I'm not going to take suggestions on is the Stormcloak Rebellion or the Imperial Legion. I want to, like, kind of figure that out for myself based off of, I don't know, what I'm seeing in the game, I guess. That's the only thing I'm gonna decide, but if there's like anything else, like if you wanna see me like talk to this person or like locate this person, I can do that. Or if like, this is like your favorite quest, the Battle of Champions, and you wanna see me do that like sooner rather than later, let me know. I'm gonna like do all of these. It's just if there's one you really wanna see me do now. Like if you really wanna see me, um do this dawn guard thing let's say i've learned of a group of vampire hunters known as the dawn guard it seems they're looking for new recruits i mean this one i don't know vampires don't really interest me but maybe this is like a great quest anyways let me know if you really like want to see me do this one for example and i will do it because i don't know maybe it's like an amazing quest and i'm being like too judgy let me know i'm very open to suggestions anyways okay so thank you so much for watching I'm just gonna continue playing. I'm gonna do alchemy and smithing. If you don't wanna watch that, you don't have to. You won't miss anything, I promise. All right, and then everyone who has stayed, let me go find an alchemy, this place, an alchemy lab, so I can kind of burn through some of the ingredients I collected. Oh. Let me pull up my spreadsheet because I made a spreadsheet of ingredients and stuff. Okay, there it is. Perfect. All right. What do you need? I think there is an alchemy lab in uh, the store. What are you looking at? Over I'm here. I'm not afraid of you, you know. Even if you are my elder. Ooh, is this stuff I can shiny trinkets for your good lady? Let me just do some last All minute harvesting by here. The great Anything else? Oh, there were some flowers. Fruit and mm. fresh vegetables for sale. Boys, girls, dogs, elders. There's nobody I won't fight. You'll fight a dog? Even I won't fight a dog. I literally used a shout so I wouldn't have to fight a dog. <laughs> wow, Braith is kind of a little asshole. Bits and baubles for sale, all crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. 
fresh bed? Damn those gray manes to Still oblivion. Warm? They want to back the storm cloaks. They'll get what's coming to them. Okay. Oh. That. All right. Good enough. All right. Now let me uh, make some potions. So I started doing a bunch of alchemy, and then OBS like stopped recording because there wasn't enough tonics, disk space sass, on my computer and, on my and none of the footage saved content. so i am starting the alchemy over a good news though i don't really like remember any of the combinations i did and i was not referring to my spreadsheet at all so it'll be like i'm doing it for the first time again um okay so yay for me I sell cures for all I literally those, like went through all of my ingredients though. <laughs> There's so many. I was doing it for like 10 minutes and then it stopped. OBS stopped. And the file didn't save. It was like corrupted and it wouldn't open. So if yay for me. I can help you with, Anyways, you thinking ask. positive. But yeah, okay. So I don't remember any combinations. Um, I swear I got my alchemy up to like level 26. <sighs> okay, anyways, let's just do this again. So I started off with just trying to burn through some of these because I really need tonics, healing potions. Sass, poultices, and Oops. potions on my shelves. Uh, so I'm gonna craft that. Noise. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Hmm, okay, I don't remember anything I did. I know this one. And this one make a poison You'll based off of tonics, what sass, I learned um, potions on my shelves. at the Rest plantation when the ghosts content. were there. So we're just gonna craft a bunch of that. Okay, and then I remember this one and this one. Okay, no, that didn't do anything. I thought that did something. And I'll be happy to serve you. Never mind. That did something. I can't remember. Okay, whatever. Okay. Um, just random combinations. Wheat and maybe it was wheat and butterfly wine. Ailments, both common and rare. Do let me know if Yeah, I need health potions. Perfect. Can be of service. There we go. Death spell and glowing mushroom. Nothing. Dragon's tongue and glowing mushroom. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Uh, lavender and death bell. Nope. Chicken's egg and eye of saber cat. No. Lavender. You'll find tonics, and salves, poultices. Ooh, okay, that's good. There's potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. That and that. That and that. That. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. That. And that. Okay, I'm just gonna save the game quickly. I'm so paranoid now. Sorry, I meant like save it on my end from OBS. Um, okay, or like in OBS. Okay. Uh, that one. 
Browse to your heart's content. And that one. I feel like I'm doing shittier this go around. Dang. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. You'll find tonics, salve, poultices and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. Cool, okay. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. You'll find... Okay, that's all the combinations Tonics, I can do. Quit alchemy and potions on my shelves. Browse. Uh, all right, let me. How do you feel? I think you talk to you. Look rather what have you got? Take to a sale? look. Okay, what ingredients does she have? I don't remember anything. That was useful. That's okay. Let me sell the things I'm never going to use. Uh, wait, am I wearing my necklace? Come back any I can't remember if I put that on. Uh, apparel. That one. Okay. If you need a remedy. Pardon me. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Not particularly. Okay, we will sell that.
I don't really want to sell any of those. Um, can I sell anything else? No. Oh my gosh, I have a potion recipe. Okay. All right then. Uh, when did I get that? Where is it? Lunar moth wing and charis eggs. Okay. Does she I sell have recipes? several leaks. Take a look. Damage, health, poison, fortify, carry. Ooh. That could be useful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fortify, carry weight. Oh, I think I went too far. There it is. Uh, wisp wrappings and scaly fo la la la. Okay, things I don't have. That was a waste of money. Maybe can a hardy nord like you doesn't need a I training think I can teach in alchemy. Until next time. Okay. And now I want to level up. Yeah. Ooh. My speech is level 39, hey? Or is it not? I'm confused. Why does it say 39 there? Hmm. Oh, alchemy. Okay. Potions, you mix that restore health, magic, or stamina are 25% more powerful. Yes. That's useful. Save. You mix salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart. All right, content. now to do some smithing. Oh no, she's gonna yell at me if I do that. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. Okay. So I need... So I go here, and I need to make, I don't remember how much, I just wrote what I needed, not how much of what I needed. So I need, let's do four hinges, we'll do some iron fittings, oh I need a lock, we'll do some nails, and maybe some more iron fittings. All right, and then I have a bunch of leather I need to like get rid of, or not leather, um, animal skins, wolf pelts. So I'll do that. Okay. And then, I'll use that. What can I make? 
I could just make a bunch of stuff and then sell it really quick. I think I should just focus on leather-based things. Which one uses the least amount? Let's see. Uh, leather strips and two leather. Two leather strips and one leather. I think this is the same. Sorry, which one's worth more? That's worth 25. And that's worth 10. Okay. Let's do that one. Oh, I think I read that wrong. That's okay. Okay, now I need to sell this to someone. The door's like open. Weird. Okay. Uh, maybe, what's that guy's name? Ferengar. We killed the dragon once, we can do it again. Um, Your help, of course. Can How do you buy feel? my leather armor? I think you might be sick. Where do I go? Thinking of oh, settling in? Way. There's a house for sale. Breeze home. You should talk to the steward up in the keep. I don't need to buy Breeze home. I have a plantation. Ferengar, where is he? I am your sword and your shield. Oh yeah, what is this thing? Hmm. Arcane Enchanter. Ah, enchanting. To enchant an item, you must know an enchantment and have a filled soul gem to power the enchantment. Enchantments are learned by disenchanting, destroying enchanted items. Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, I really like my battle axe. I just have like a sentimental attachment to it. Okay, I'm going to disenchant that. Okay. And then learn that one. Learn that one. Learn that one. Learn that one. I'm gonna keep that. And learn that one. Okay, now items I can enchant. Cool, okay. So if I take that, can I like slap, okay, one at a time. Take that, enchant that with, that one, and, ooh. That's a decent enchantment, but keep studying. You've only scratched the surface. Mm. I don't really know what I'm doing.
Are you feeling sick? So, you wish okay. to master the arcane arts? Let me sell some things to you. Oh, I can't sell any of the weapons to you? I'll just sell that. How do I fill, oh wait, that's right. I fill the stones with um, uh, something. I have a weapon or I also have a spell. Okay, I have to fill all of these. How do I fill this thing though? And what is it used for? Okay. You know, not? if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Okay, what time is it? 11.30, okay, I'm gonna go to the inn. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna wake up. I'm going to sell my enchanted items that I don't need. And then I'm gonna stop playing. And then tomorrow I can uh, start on a quest. Don't worry about other settlements in the hold. Unwalled, likely man. Or like not start on a quest, but um. Oh yeah, I guess start on a quest, but I really want to go to my uh, plantation and build those things. I also have a treasure map I need to deal with. I'll do that tomorrow, though. Uh, down here. And back to this place. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Hmm? I enjoy this work. What can I get you? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right oh, this I know where it is. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of both battles and gold he had made. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... Okay. Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all of me. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. Oh my god, Hilda. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. Uh, okay. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more. When Are you feeling all right, around on the floor. You look a little ill. Oh my gosh, stop everyone telling me I look sick. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I Come to all open. Up. Huh? It's not. Oh, I tell the future. Oh my gosh! Everyone, stop talking to me. That's too overwhelming. There's too many people. <laughs> okay. I just want to sell my weapons and then save the game and stop playing. You're the best. Can you be my mother? What? You've been talking to me, right? What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. Can no. I? Even if you are my elder. How do I sell things? The, the store's not open yet. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Jorland Greymanes. I, that I do. Okay. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Jorland Greymane someday. Who's that? In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. Ooh. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Thanks. <sighs> hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs.
that might be useful. Actually, I don't care. So, okay. Uh, I guess I'll keep all of that. Don't forget to check inside the shop okay. if you need anything. Uh, should I do this thing? I feel bad for the people who stopped watching, though. Okay, I'm going to do this one Getting last thing, then I'm going to stop. Then. Of course I was given a quest. Of course I was. Go the other way. Oh, shit. They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth. Today, they take away your... I serve Jarl Balgrim I know. as steward. We've, we've met before. The Jarl is I have a sword from, from your, your daughter. Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. I live here now. I don't live here. I'm a Thane. Why doesn't he remember that? You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Mm -hmm. Curved swords. Oh, I made a wrong turn somewhere. No oh, yeah, what is Hilda carrying? Can I sell some stuff? Okay. Oh, that's right. She's carrying all of this stuff. Oh my gosh, I have so many wolf pelts. Okay, I'll take all of those. I'll take all of those. Okay, I'll do a little bit more smithing first and get rid of these pelts. I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Owning a farm does have its advantages. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know, even if you are my elder. You're someone who can get things done. I got, got some good pieces out here if you're no, looking to buy. You. More inside. I want to use the forge. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiteburn. Let me use Jorland the forge, Grayman's please. Got that. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, make so many things. Should I make another animal collar in case I run into more pets? Yeah, I'll do that. Maybe I'll make a few so I'm stocked up. Okay. Anything else I can make? No. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need uh, it. No. No. Leather. Okay. Uh, what is worth the most? That one. I think, yeah. Oh, metal leather. Oops, no, I was done. 
water. Just make a couple of these. Nice. All right, and then I will sell. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Ah, uh, to you. Take a look. There we go. Until next time. All right, what's my carry weight? Uh, nice. Okay, that means I can take off the backpack now. I'm so excited. Okay. Yes. Because that is for emergencies only. So we will unequip you. Uh, I also don't want to wear the arrows. So I'm going to unequip you. Okay. And then apparel. That's fine. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I'm not wearing a sword. I don't have a weapon equipped. Where's the sword? That one, because I'm going to need to fill a soul gem. And I want to make sure I have my flames equipped. All right, I am Don't think you can barter with me like ready Michael. to play tomorrow now. I have done all of my housekeeping things. Okay. Save. Save. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you stuck around, um, I will see you again soon. And please uh, let me know what uh, quest you would like to see me do. If there's one you want to see me do, if you don't really care, then you don't have to comment or whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.